All right, man, Torture Talk, 12 o'clock show, 12 o'clock show. Good evening, good afternoon, all you lovely people out there. You know what it is. Listen, man, this is Torture Talk, and I'm back in the building. All right, man, look, so uh, Joe Buttons have came out and said, have came out, has came out and said uh, how he feels about Drake coming at Jay-Z. And uh, the panel had a very interesting take on uh, Drake's position in how we believe that he has the authority to come at uh, Jay. So look, before I get into that, you know, I got to get my spill. This is Torch Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing if you're new here. Let me work for your subscription today, all the beautiful, sexy ladies. Put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. If you want to leave a donation, links on the screen, cash at PayPal's in the description. Thank y'all for all the donations. I really appreciate that. They called me the Hidden Gym. I went from 13 subscribers to over 11,000 million by Monday. You know, that's a running thing. You know what I'm saying? And um, let me know where you're from, too. So, look, we're going to get right into this clip, man. And uh, this comes from Never Give Up. Shout out to Never Give Up. We don't always agree on everything, but he has great content. And I like to I like to do commentary on his content. And, um, yeah, we can agree to disagree. So, let's get it. All right, so let's get it, man. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Dr. Podfather speaking on this whole little back and forth with Drake and Jay and Drake posting Solange and all that other stuff. Make sure y'all like the video and subscribe. Let's get it. Loss makes Drake feel like he's not the big dog. No, yeah, he, is I don't still the, he is a big dog. He yes. is a big dog. Okay. Can't take that away. Mm -hmm. But you're coming off of. <laughs> ah, man, I tell you, man. Big dog to big dog to big dog. Do I think that Drake is still a big dog? I guess I'll give my take at the end of what I feel about Drake being a big dog. But let's keep it going. An L. Okay. Major L. A, a major L. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he is I don't still the, he is a big dog. He yes. is a big dog. Okay. Can't take that away. Mm -hmm. But you're coming off of an L. Okay. Major L. A, a major L. Yeah. Okay. Whether you want to own it or how, how better to redeem myself. I hate you about to make me agree with Ish. How better to and redeem I don't myself? Agree with Ish. No, 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 no. And broader and than that. Bigger than that. This, this, is, goes this, is to redemption? The, this goes to the Jack Dorsey point. This goes to the Kendrick point. This goes to all the points that are being made. This nigga has held urban music on his back for the last 15 years. I don't give a fuck about that. Let me that. finish my sentence. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ah, <laughs> uh, am I the only guy in the room? that don't think that Drake has held hip hop on his back. You know what I'm saying? I wish y'all stopped saying that Drake is a hip hop artist. He's not a hip hop artist. Most of his hits are not hip hop hits. I don't understand how y'all constantly keep throwing him in the category of hip hop. He's not a hip hop artist. The majority of Drake music is R&B slash pop. Most of his songs are R&B or a fusion of, of the two. But he, most of his songs are not rap songs. Y'all try to push his songs into rap because y'all like the fact that he has a lot of hits. Y'all want to claim him for it. But to be fair and to be honest, he's really not a hip-hop artist. And I know I'll probably stand on the island by myself with that one. Because a lot of y'all want to put him in the category, but you have to put other people in the category who you would say is hip hop or who you would say is rap music. And there's a lot of people that y'all would not put in the category of rap music, even though they rap and do more songs with the rap component than Drake. That's the crazy part to me. If I asked you, was Pitbull a rapper, you most likely you all would say, no, he's not. Even though he uses the component of rap. If I would say Tom McDonald is a, is a hip hop star or a rapper, you would say no, even though Tom McDonald raps and raps over hip hop beats. If I was to say Tech 9 is he a rapper or hip hop star? You'll say, no, he's not. So this is what I mean. 
Y'all want to push Drake into this into this stage because it's convenient for y'all and y'all like it. But he's not. I'm sorry. Yo, he's held urban music on his back for the last 15 years. You think in his head Jay-Z's bigger than him? You think in his head Kendrick Lamar's better than him? That's why he fucking took Kendrick for granted, because he's looking at this nigga like a little nigga. He mentioned Taylor Swift. He mentioned Travis. He mentioned all these other people that... What he said? What was the line? So you speak speaking to every down. reason to why he... I, I just don't understand. I don't understand the whole... Everybody has to be Drake's lawyer or have to be his, uh, his public defender. For some reason, it's like y'all go out your way to make it seem like Drake is in command and he was always in command and he's always in charge. This is the same guy who has a room full of ghostwriters. How is he in control? How do y'all even how like what are we arguing? What are we arguing here? I don't understand why you guys always put you pedestalize Drake as if like he has this 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 sense of everybody's beneath him and y'all okay with it. It's like, well, you have to understand what he's thinking. He's thinking like he's been running a game for 15 years. Has he really been running a game for 15 years? Has he really? Or he has been has he been coasting off of his last um a couple of albums? Because if you go back and listen to his his a couple of his albums, they're really not good, and they've been getting killed in the reviews. So uh, which one is it? Is he really running rap, or is it because his name holds so much weight and people like him? Because if we're saying he's running rap, that means that you have to come up with something that's good. You cannot be putting this guy on this pedestal and saying that he has average music but still running rap. How is that the case? There's so many people who have better music than him. And if he is running rap, it's y'all fault because y'all put him on such a high pedestal that y'all won't even critique his music and say, this shit is ass. This is not good, bro. That's not good. This is not good. That's not good. This is not good. That's not good. Y'all pedestalize him. That's why he feels the way he feels because y'all put him there. Most of you dudes like ish, y'all put him there, bro. Mall-ish, uh, 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 academics, Aiden Ross, uh, 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 Adam-22, y'all pedestalize this dude. This is the reason why he can never grow as an artist. He's still rapping like he's 18, 19 years old. He's 37. He's still doing music like he's fucking a teenager. Boss. I, yes, because in his so, mind, he is the big dog. And that's why he keeps losing, because now you get the fuck out we, your we own mind, about, put your ego to the side. About two, talking, we talking about two different No, we points. not. We talking about a nigga, first of all, we talking about a nigga who's smart. He's not dumb. He's not a dumb guy. This so, is a dumb move. But, arrogance will so make mm -hmm. you dumb. Keep cool, going. This cool. Keep being arrogant. Mm -hmm. and, keep, and now you result. being arrogant. This is what I mean. Like, y'all talk yourselves in the circles. It's like... You just you was just saying one thing, and now you're trying to defend it by saying something that contradicts what you said the first time. Arrogance to get you arrogance to get you out of here, whatever you just said, right? But that's what he was saying from the beginning, and he's like, "Oh, he's a big dog," and I'm gonna explain to y'all why I stand on that in a second. But still, like, I just don't understand it. He's only where he's at because y'all put him there. Because y'all y'all put him there, and the fans who really y'all really put him there, not off of his music, off of him. You know what I'm saying? Not to say that people like him so much, they like his music, but for him, he doesn't have to make great music. He just have to make music, and some people just like it because it's coming from him. With the big dog. Mm -hmm. The, fuck if you think you a big dog today the past 15 years that man is battle tested with not the underling he's battle tested with the top of the top with the other big dogs with the other big <laughs> dogs and we have we've had moments where we had to decide who do we think win mm -hmm. like even with the Jay and Nas shit people there's people who really feel like Jay still caught the better mm -hmm. end of that mm -hmm. for sure there's no debate with bugging the fuck up you think that y'all bugging the fuck out any nigga that think that Jay-Z won is bugging. You're bugging. 
And I know y'all try to use the whole, well, Nas won the battle and Jay won the war. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. I know niggas always trying to use that, but let's be clear here. He lost to Nas emphatically. Ain't no if, ands, or buts about it. He took a L. Complete L. That was it. He took a L. This nigga Drake. You lost twice, nigga. To so, people who we don't even harrowed as high as Jay. And this is oh, the shit you want to start. You niggas is bugging the fuck out. Okay, maybe push it to push it T. We're not gonna hold push it T at, at, at a high regard to, to uh Jay-Z. Let's be clear. I love Pusha T, but he's not nowhere near Jay, right? But Kendrick is. I, some will say that Kendrick Lamar is actually better than Jay-Z. Every list, Kendrick Lamar is either one or two. And on top of that, Kendrick Lamar has more albums that are in the top greatest albums of all time than Jay-Z does. So, but I'm not turning this into a Kendrick versus Jay-Z thing. I'm just giving them some pushback on that point. And I know that's not the whole about the video, but still, <laughs> I just had to say that. A battle with a clip of Solange. All right, let me let me respond to what, what you and I are saying. Yo, I received that. I get that. And I also feel like he lost to Kendrick. Okay. We and all, we all like, are in agreement with like that. I feel like he lost to Busher. Indeed. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad at if I'm him saying, okay, I'm losing these creative battles with talent. Mm -hmm. And to Isha's point, I'm a big dog. I'm not just talent. I'm now going to start shooting at a page out the Nicki Minaj books, the companies that I think are sabotaging me. Mm -hmm. So I'm shooting. But, all right. You got to be a delusional dude, uh, 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 Drake, who's shooting at you? What companies are shooting at you? Because you're saying that Rock Nation, because Rock Nation runs the Super Bowl and they decided to put Kendrick Lamar, who had the biggest song on, I could almost guarantee you, if your song was as big as Kendrick's song and it flooded the summer and it took over, Jay might have put you on it. He probably had no choice. He probably would have had no choice. Now, I know some of y'all saying, nah, he would have never did that. Jay is about making money. He's about making money, and he's about making, making history, I would say. And if it was, if, it, if the shoe was on the other foot, let's just say the shoe was on the other foot, and Drake had a song that just totally, it wasn't even a diss. Let's just say he had a song that just went crazy, and it totally was everywhere, and it was the guy. He was the song. Yeah. I'm thinking, and I'm, and I'm going to say, I'm believing that he most likely would have put Drake up there. With, or he would have put Lil Wayne, in, and Lil Wayne probably would have brought out Drake. That's what I'm thinking. I know a lot of y'all probably disagree with that, but keep it going. I'm no longer shooting at rappers. Mm -hmm. I'm shooting at the businessmen. Exactly. And for as crazy as Nicki has looked in the past doing this, when you look today at Atlantic, or when you the hear company her speak. that she accuses of building up mm -hmm. ops to take her out. When that whole building gets wiped out, Nikki's feeling pretty heroic. I felt <laughs> like there was something strange going on between Hove and Drake when Meg was sending shots at Drake. Mm -hmm. And I do believe that there's probably a billion reasons for them to have some type of tension. I, I, you talking real vague right now, Joe. Uh, some of the stuff you saying, bro, it's like this stuff can't be verified. This stuff is just like, oh, I, this is a theory that you have. And it's really not a, it's really not nothing that I could actually say. Well, that's 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 true or that's not true. It's just something you just throwing out there. It just sounds more. It sounds it's kind of borderline a uh, uh, conspiracy uh, uh, th theorist type shit or how would I not even that more lines of like a. Uh, just, just saying, just saying whatever sticks type shit. It's like, like what are we talking about here? It seems like you're just saying, just saying stuff just to, just to have something to talk about. Because to me, um, I don't th think that's the case. I don't. Maybe I'm. Maybe again. Maybe I'm wrong. But I don't. I, I'm not gonna just assume something like that between the two. Because you saying it could be a million and one reasons. Yeah, it could be a million and one reasons. But it also could be a million and one not reasons. Like, it, it could be anything, bro. 
I also don't fall for the features that niggas have done together. That means absolutely nothing. Yeah, that that's just business. Historically, that's just that business. I, I, I do hope that we get a Hove album soon. I don't think that Drake is ready for that type of pen creatively. Hove's going to be subbing him in 2026, man. <laughs> on a soundtrack. Remember now, Yo. But remember, Hove, Hove was subbing Birdman. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yo, that, that my heart in the wall costs just as much as your repoed homer. <laughs> like he was, he was my Bosky artist. <laughs> he was yeah. like he was. So there's been little things to tell you that there's tension there. I don't know when a whole album is coming, and I don't know how crazy he goes on Drake if he even addresses him. But that's oh, Solange. Whoa, 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 whoa. It'll be subs. You, you know, God you know damn he's, well. You know the UPS him. box will be on some of the albums. This is gonna be an address. If Hove ever raps, he's gonna respond. Okay, okay. Yeah. Sure. All right. Mm-hmm. Hey, listen, and I think Drake has every reason to have the e- like you said, he has every reason to have. Bro, you can't but, tell a nigga that's worth a billion dollars at yeah, absolutely thirty right. something years old that they not a big. But dog if your starting it. point for all these things is are, women, are, is, is women or some shit, and you seeing it not pan out the best for you, Pick you should find point. a new tactic. All right, let's just. All right, so before he go on his little spill, I'm gonna say. But in fact, you know what? I'm gonna let let, let him talk, and then uh. I'll get my take after. So let him talk a little bit. And I'll get my take. Discuss. Now, first off, you know, that guy who was saying, you know, it ain't no debate, that's Imani. Now, it is a debate with Pusha T. With Kendrick, okay. It's a debate with Pusha T. Wait a minute, nigga. <laughs> you are... I'm going to let you... Maybe you can explain this one, because, bro, you're saying... it. Bro, I'm gonna let you talk a little bit, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Hopefully, you explain what you mean because. All right, let's I'm go. sorry. Drake's song has aged better than Pusha T's. Pusha T's. Yo, yo, nigga, yo, <laughs> yo, bro. I love your channel, bro. I ain't gonna lie, but you are out of your fucking mind, bro. You out of your goddamn mind. You telling me that Duffy freestyle, right? Because I'm, I'm assuming that this is what you're talking about. That age better than Story of Adonis? Yo, you do know that most people. When they reference Drake's diss, they most most people they still reference Story of Adonis, the Story of Adonis. I don't. That's one, bro. There is, there is, there is maybe six diss songs that are untouchable. You know what I'm saying? And let's be clear here: six. There's other ones, but these six, to me, are. Absolutely untouchable. You know what I'm saying? And they're c- super classes. You got, I would even, I'm going to start with, let's just start with Takeover. Ether, second round knockout. Not like us. Story of Adidon. Hit him up. Right? And maybe the bridge is over. So, Let's be clear here. For you to say, which is out of control, for you to say that Duppy Freestyle age better, if, that, if that's the one you're talking about, that age better than the story of Adidon. Story of Adidon literally stopped Drake from rapping. And then he came back with an album. But he stopped, he, he quit. He even went on record and said that the man beat him. It's no debating. It's not debatable. Drake said he lost. You can't go off and say that it's debatable to you if the nigga who was involved got knocked out, and he said, I got knocked out. You can't say, well, bro, you got knocked out, but I helped you back up. And guess what? You still fighting, bro. Like, no. He admitted he got knocked out. He admitted it. 
There's no age in nothing. Song sound like some shade room gossip. And if it wasn't a rap beef going on, you would say everything that Pusha T said was damn near kind of feminine. Because if... Bro. <laughs> so let me get this right. The nigga exposed... He said, bro, he said you are hiding a child. He literally said that in the song. For you to sit here and say that that's gossip, that's a fact. He even admitted that he was hiding his son. He, he admitted that he was hiding. That's 100% facts. That's not, that's not God. And then you say, and I love when niggas do this. They say, well, if, 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 bro, we ain't living in the world of if. We living in reality. You can't say if, if that didn't happen. Guess what? If Kendrick and Drake didn't battle, the battle wouldn't have happened. <laughs> if I played the lottery, I might win. Like, bro, we can't go off of what if. What they say, if 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 was a fifth, everybody be drunk or something like that. That was just like a regular situation, and a man went to some woman and was like, "Hey, you know, bro got a kid and he hiding it." As men, we would look at that a certain type of way. Get I get it, and rap beef. Bro. Get the fuck out of here, bro. You ain't gonna. I'm not gonna sit here. I'm not gonna sit here and let you discredit that crazy super dish track because you you and your feelings about Drake losing, bro. I can't do it, bro. I cannot let you do that, bro. That's crazy for That's crazy work for you to say that, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy work for you to say that that sounds like some gossipy shit. Bro, it's a battle. He smoked him. It was 100% facts he lost. You could say that maybe it was debatable with other people. Maybe him in common was debatable. But him and him and Pusha T, that's an automatic L. There's no way around it. He lost a hundred percent. It was no way around that L. That was a big L. I'm talking like he walked in a room with an L in his hand, holding an L. He held the L. And then Kendrick came and demolished him. Some people will even say that uh, uh, Story of Adidon is, is better than every other song. You're crazy if you think that, that it didn't age well. Who told you that? Maybe you, maybe you like the, the crazy wordplay and duppy free stuff, but it wasn't even about all that. It wasn't about all that. It was about the moment that he took and he put it in, and he put Drake out there. And he and, and now everybody look at him differently. It's different. I just feel like Drake did a better job of breaking down Pusha T. Oh my That's God. my opinion. I, I can't but I can't. I can't. I do say this, go bro. back and listen to the songs. I can't do this. Bro. Now, ain't no way in the world I can't do this, bro. Shout out, shout out to Never Give Up, man. Yeah, shout out to Never Give Up, man. Make sure y'all go uh, subscribe to his page, man. I can't do that, man. I can't do it. You ain't gonna sit here and say you, you, Drake, Drake did a better job <laughs> breaking down Pusha T. Uh, come on, bro. Nah. Scared, scared to grow it out because his fro don't nap enough. Nah, bro. Uh, uh-uh. uh. We, we not gonna do that, bro. Just because Drake is slick with words don't mean nothing, bro. You know what I'm saying? I made it, let it ring off like Virginia Williams. Like, yeah, we, 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 yeah, that's about it, bro. There's no way. There's no way you can even compare the two. Now, how do I feel about Drake being a big dog? Do I think Drake is a big dog? I think Drake's a big dog in a room full of small dogs. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Drake is, is a big dog as they say he is. I think he just so happens to be, he just so happens to be a great Dane and not an actual uh, hybrid pit bull, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? He's a great Dane, but he's really not doing nothing. He's docile. You know what I'm saying? And I think that this is, the, this is what they're not saying to you. They're not telling y'all that. They're just saying he's a big dog. But what kind of dog is he? You know what I'm saying? Is he, is he a big, vicious dog, or he's one that just barks a lot? Don't really do anything. You know what I'm saying? So I think that that's what it is. He's a big, he's a big dog in a dog full of poodle, a room full of poodles. You know what I'm saying? And it just so happened he ran into a, he ran into a, uh, how would I, what, I, what would I say uh, Kendrick Lamar would be? It would be, uh, would he be a red-nosed pit? Would he be a hybrid pit? Would he be a wolf? You know what I'm saying? Would he be one of those? 
Would he be a grizzly bear? Because they're, they're dogs too. A polar bear? Which one would he be? But I don't think I don't think that I think people look at this whole thing with Drake and um Drake in in uh Jay as this is something that Drake has to do now. But see, Drake foundation is not good. He has a weak foundation. And since he has a weak foundation, he can't come at Jay-Z. There's three people that I believe that most artists should never come at right now, especially rappers. Three. Well, I would even say four. You know what I'm saying? The four would be Jay-Z, Nas, Eminem, and Kendrick. Don't come at those dudes. Because they have too much. Either one has too much power. Either one is super lyrical, really good. Either one is uh, 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 has a has a um, a lot of influence. It's very difficult to beat those dudes. One has all the respect. Very difficult. You don't want to do that. So I think at this point, Drake is just on his on his Duke Nukem. He's just going out on anything and just seeing what it stick with sticks. And he wanted, and he also Drake is Drake is addicted to uh, lending lending a helping hand to females. You know what I'm saying? He does this all the time, and he's doing this with Nicki Minaj. You see Nicki saying something, saying something. So what he'll do is he'll wait a little while, and then he'll just drop a picture or something, drop a picture of Solange and a picture of a of a, a Aaliyah. You know what I'm saying? Don't even don't. I don't know if he. Well, I, don't, I know he didn't know Aaliyah. I don't believe he didn't. I believe he did a song, a fake song with Aaliyah, and Aaliyah wasn't alive. But as far as listening goes, and, and that's what really bothers me about Drake. He don't even be knowing stuff, and he just does it anyway. You know what I'm saying? And not not to know, not to you know, just highlight certain things and and put things in perspective that he has no idea what he's talking about. Like you don't know the whole, you don't know the story behind what happened with Solange in the elevator. Nobody knows. I haven't heard why that happened. And if and if and if it was because Jay Z was cheating on Beyonce and Solange got mad, that's none of Solange business. So I I blame her for um, um hitting on him. That's between that man and his wife. I don't care if you her sister, cousin, mother, brother, sister, whatever. Doesn't matter. You don't put your hands on people. Like that just goes to show you who the type of person you are. You hurt my sister. What? Your sister is grown. She could she could uh, fend for herself. Who are you? You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion. I don't know if that's actually what happened. I'm just saying if that did happen. But either way, man, either way, like I said, man, never, you're bugging, bro. If you saying that you believe, maybe it's just how you feel, but that, you're, that's a crazy take for you to say that you believe that uh, Drake Duppy freestyle age better than story of Adidon. That's crazy work, bro. <laughs> I don't know about that, homeboy. You know what I'm saying? That's out of control. That's like, okay, yeah, I'm a Drake fan, and I'm gonna show y'all how much I'm a Drake fan. So either way, man, y'all have yourself a good afternoon. You know what I'm saying? You already know six o'clock show coming up. All right, see y'all peace bye. <laughs>